Okay, so hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is Ayo, and welcome. I know I've been going for a hot minute. It's been some time, but I'm back again. Um, I'm hoping to begin starting to upload videos again and doing study groups. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, please um, subscribe to my channel, share with a classmate, share with a friend. Also, before I begin, I want to say congratulations to everyone who has passed their um, exam, who's commented and emailed me and said, hey, I passed my exam. I watched your videos. You guys are amazing. I'm so happy for you and continue studying um, to those who didn't pass. Um, you know, sometimes it might take us more than one time to pass the exam. You know, just keep pushing, keep going, and you're going to do it. So just keep you know, doing what you got to do and, you know, it will come. And remember, you don't need to have a perfect score. You just need to pass. So if you believe it, it will come. Um, so thank you everyone who has subscribed to my channel, all the newcomers. Um, I appreciate you guys. And if you have any video suggestions um, or even any comments, just leave a comment um, on my video and I will make sure to respond. So thank you guys. Um, so today we're going to be doing a more clinical based video. Um, the two questions that I have up, they're more clinical based, but they can be used for your license, um, your LMSW exam or your LC. Um, and also at the end, I have some need to know or you need to know medications that I think are really important um, for the exam. Questions that, medications that I've seen multiple times um, on just practice questions. So I think, you know, it's really in your best bet to make sure you understand and know these medications. You know, there's so many medications out there, but these are the most common ones that I've seen. Um, so if you're studying, especially if you're studying for your C exam, definitely, definitely uh, make sure you know these. So let's just get right into it, okay? So the first question is, which diagnosis is brief cognitive behavioral therapy, so CBT, most appropriate? So brief cogn cognitive behavioral therapy is usually four to eight weeks, and regular CBT is usually 12 to 20. So with that being said, which one of these four diagnoses would be most appropriate um, in treating? Um, which one of these four diagnoses would CBT be most appropriate in treating? So the first one we have A, substance use disorder, um, B, antisocial personality disorder, C, borderline personality disorder, and D, adjustment disorders. So let's go to A, so substance use disorder. So that would definitely need more long-term therapy. So regular CBT, which is a 12 to 20 sessions, would definitely be useful for substance use disorder, but not brief. Four to eight sessions will not be enough um, for substance use disorder. So that is not the correct answer. So B and C are both personality disorders. So like we all know, or we should know, Personality disorders needs long-term care in regards to planning, especially with counseling. So um, a brief cognitive behavioral therapy would not be beneficial um, for someone with these, these, these um, personality disorders. So the correct answer here is adjustment disorders. So adjustment disorders are um, an extreme emotional response that's happened three months within um, a major event. So let's say um, you've had a big emotional response to a divorce, your parents' divorce, or you being in a divorce. Um, let's say you lost a job and you had an extreme um, emotional or behavioral reaction within those three months of um, you losing your job. Or let's say you had a birth of a child and you had an extreme emotional um, response. Um, or retirement, you retired and you had an extreme emotional response. So you had an adjust adjustment disorder. So that's classified as adjustment disorder. So brief cognitive behavioral therapy, right? So a four to eight weeks. So that's a month to two month um, therapy would be beneficial. And that's why D is the correct answer. So A, B, and C, you would definitely need more long-term care. Um, D is the correct answer here. And if you have any more questions on that, you could just leave a comment and I'll make sure to answer you. So I hope you guys got it right. If you got the question, the correct answer for number one, put it in the comments. Say, I got number one correct. Okay. So I want to see. So next question is, a 40-year-old man is admitted to the emergency room after being found wandering naked near a bus stop late at night. When the social worker interviews him, he speaks rapidly, seems euphoric, 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 I always mess that word up, and repeatedly tries to tell the social worker about his new invention. With careful questioning, the social worker is able to discover that the man was recently put on, medic on a medication by a local psychiatrist. What medication was the, was the man most likely given? So think about it. It's not asking you what medication you use to treat him, but what medication is he most likely on right now? So with that being said, we know A and B, those are mood stabilizers. So I always mess up this word. So 
Dibacote, Dibacote, I always mess up these words. I know what they are, but the pronunciations, I always mess them up. So hmm, here we go. So A and B is usually used for mood disorders. So um, treating bipolar, right? You can use A and B. So um, Dibacote and lithium, that will be given to help treat what he's going through right now. What was he most likely given before for him to be acting like this? So that's what the question is asking you. So A and B is wrong. Um, Ativan is an anti-anxiety medication. Um, and right now we don't see him having any kind of, um, symptoms of anxiety. He looks like he's going through either a manic or hypomanic episode, um, depending on the length, right? When we know the difference between hypomanic and manic depends on the length of the episode. So we don't know. It's just giving us one day. Um, we don't know how long this episode is going to last for. So C is not the correct answer. And D, more, more likely known as Alexa, um, that's the brand name of it. So Sita Loprim more likely known as Alexa, is the correct answer. That is a SSIR. And usually, or not usually, but sometimes what happens with um, some antidepressant medications, they can induce a hypomanic um, episode. Um, it just depends. So with this situation, him having that episode, D was most likely what he was given, um, and which is why he's acting that way. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying? I know this stuff can be a little bit confusing. Also, some people have commented on my videos that I talk really fast. I'm so sorry. You know, you can adjust the speed of the YouTube videos. So I would say if I talk too fast for you, just slow it down to 0.5. Um, and this way it can be easier for you to understand. I'm from New York. I talk really fast. It's hard. I'm, I'm really trying to talk slow. <laughs> but I know multiple people have said, you talk really, really fast. I'm like, ah, oh, dang, sorry. Um, but the correct answer here is D. Um, Sita, Sita Loprim, more likely known or more, more commonly known as Alexa. Um, so let me highlight that. I hope that was clear. I hope you understood. You understand. If you don't, leave a comment. I'll make sure to answer you. So I'm just going to go over it again. So in this question, it was just asking what medication would he most likely be on? And that's why he is having this like hypomanic or manic episode going on. So we know it wouldn't be A or B because those are usually given to people having. Um, who may be facing um, symptoms of um, mania, right? So those two are usually given. Um, Ativan is a anti-anxiety medication. Um, and right now we don't see any symptoms of anxiety, but we do see like, symptoms of mania. So D is the correct answer because sometimes depending on the medication and the person and how they react, um, antidepressants can cause um, mania. It can cause a manic episode, a hypomanic or manic episode. Um, you know, it's not, doesn't happen all the time, but it can happen. So that's just something you should know. This is a hard question. So I'm sure, um, people got this wrong, but also when you're taking a text, right, you got a 50% chance here when you're looking at the question. So because A and B are the same class of medication, it should tell you like, okay, I know those are not the correct answer. And because the question is actually what most likely was he given prior to this episode, you would know A and B wouldn't be it. So you just got to think about it. Antidepressant. So something's antidepressant. It doesn't want you to have a low mood. It wants you to be in a better mood, right? Um, so using the context clues, um, process of elimination, D is the best answer here. Um, so I know this was hard, you know, but you got this. Just, you know, use your critical thinking skills and you'll do amazing. And nasty. So these are some medications that I think everyone should know if they're taking their C exam or even their L exam, more so their C exam. Um, so here I have must know antipsychotics. So the ones that are bolded in, not bolded, but the ones that are in red, those are ones that I see all the time. So you, I know you guys heard Haddle, Risperdone, you hear that often, right? Um, so definitely know antipsychotics. So think of the actual, a question that someone may be schizophrenic or something like that. These are the ones you need to know. Um, the next one is mood stabilizers, right? So we got lithium, right? That's the one that I see all the time. Dibacote, I do see that sometimes, but lithium is the one that I look, you definitely should know that. I mean, now we have the lastly here, the SSIRs, you know, Prozac, Zoloft, Lexapro. We see that all the time. Here we have Celexa, Paxil, um, Desiree. Make sure you know these, okay? I'm going to leave it here for a little bit. You could take a screenshot screenshot it so you're like, okay, I know this. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope this video was helpful. Um, yeah, if you like these kind of videos, leave a comment, um, subscribe, share it with a classmate. Um, I definitely do try my best to answer all comments. Um,
And like I said in the beginning of the video, I do plan to start making more videos. I'm excited for the new year. I hope you guys have all had a great new year. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.